let's get started, Jim. Yeah. Let's have some fun. That was fun. I like that one. To whip up. Oh, to whip up. To get whipped. To prepare food quickly or drinks, I would say, too. To... So, darling, I'm hungry. Would you please whip up some pancakes, please, real quick? Um, or can we whip up some margaritas? Oh, I'm hungry. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> pancakes. I love pancakes. Pancakes are so good. Yes. Uh, could we whip Sorry. up some uh, margaritas? Could we whip up some tacos? That sounds good. I want some tacos. Yeah, let's let's, let's whip up some cake. I want a cake for my birthday. Yeah, to whip up. You like the whip. Yeah. So go ahead, Saw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Uh, if there's Shima, this number eight, good daddy, good examples. This is a funny one. No? Mm -hmm. To whip up. To whip up. This is very specific because it's used with food and is used when you make food quickly. So you make yourself a breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack. It doesn't matter. You make any type of food, but you do it really quickly. So you might say, oh, no, I'm getting late. I running late I need to whip up my breakfast I need to make my breakfast really quickly or let's say you have some guests come over uh, unexpectedly and you want to serve them something you might say to your husband, example, give me a few minutes to whip up some appetizers. Yes. So I'm going to make some appetizers really quickly. So this is a great phrasal verb that you can add to your daily vocabulary. And now the next class, yes, Daddy? Yes. And thank you, guys. And you guys did a wonderful job. And I had fun myself. But don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely like. So we can keep going. And don't forget to... Uh, send any questions or answers and that we need to work on and it would be great to work on them. So thanks again for coming and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And thanks, Saw, for having me again. Oh, I appreciate your company in our videos and just so amazing, your examples and you'll be with us 